What's up, guys? Welcome back to my extremely modded Skyrim. This will be episode three, and in the last episode, we made our way up to Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, we're about to be entering this place, and I just remembered we leveled up in the last episode. So let's pick what we want. Um, I want to level up my health. Um, I also want to lo level up my archery. I want to show you what's weird about my archery. I got this mod for it, and it's in another language. Uh, it's in French, but I can kind of see what they what they do a little bit. Some of them, um, some of these up here are in French, like that one is. And there's another one that's does some weird stuff. These over here, yeah. I can't do that right now. I don't even know what that does. I know it does something cool. That's why I got the mod. So whenever I can get that, I will. I just don't like that it's in another language. It didn't have an English version of it. So we will get the overdraw. My bow will do 20% more damage. So we're going to be doing quite a bit of archery. Uh, speaking of archery, let's equip the bow. That gets rid of my torch. Let's head inside. Now this episode will be, will be all Bleak Falls Barrow. So after this quest is over, will be the end of the episode. And that's pretty much how I'm going to be doing uh, the series. Is, um, each episode will be a different um, quest. So, I'll be, so that way I can name the episode by the quest that I'm doing at the time. So, that way you'll be able to find it if you are looking for it in the search bar. Okay, here we are in the Bleak Falls Temple. And we know for a fact that there are two or three guys standing over here, so we're gonna sneak around. We're gonna get kinda close. Hopefully I can kill both of these people. Just like this. Oh, she moved! Why must you move? There's already a dead guy laying right here. Let's go ahead and check him out. Let's take his lockpick. And his gold. That Warhammer is heavy, so I'm not going to grab it. I can't really hold too much weight. There's a lot of other things in here worth taking. The only reason I'm sneaking is basically right now I just want to like level up my sneak skill. Because we'll be using it a lot later. I don't have to be sneaking right now, but it's worth it to try and level that uh, skill up. Now where did that person go? Let's go ahead and load an arrow. Because she's here somewhere. What was that? Oh, she heard me. And she sees me. Okay. Put a couple of arrows in her. She has arrows on her. That's good. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need anything else that you have. We got to pardon the nudity here a little bit. Just part of the mods. Some of the girls wear some skimpy armors. I'll take your lockpick. I will pick your chest. I know how to do this. Let's go this way a little bit. There we go. Easy enough take the gold. Do not need the boots. Okay, we don't have to sneak anymore for the time being. Oh, there's an iron shield here. That is great. Let's go ahead and put that in my favorites menu. So, and let's switch to the mace and let's put the shield in the other hand instead of the torch. We have the shield we can block attacks and 
That way, whenever I need to switch there, I got it. Wish I could get that arrow from you. Hey, look. You had some kind of sword. Maybe that sword was better than the one I had. Your iron katana did 8 damage. No, it does not do more damage than my mace does. But there's an arrow right there I will take. Always need an arrow. I'm just gonna walk in here. Eh, maybe we'll find some stuff in these burial urns, you know. There we go, stuff we're selling. Small things. Maybe some gold. That one's empty. Always want to loot stuff at the beginning of every game. Loot everything. <laughs> if it's not too heavy. Otherwise I would have taken that battle axe from that guy. Is this a dead end? Where am I supposed to go? This way? Am I going back the way I just came from? No, this is this is right. Okay. Uh, we'll be facing and getting some Draugr here in just a second, I think. There might be a few more bandits first. We're definitely going to take the Magicka. Uh, sell those. Linen wrap is good. I'm going to take a few of these. Uh, they're good for crafting various armors. Um, you know part of the mods that I downloaded, so. I don't know what's around this corner. I'm gonna sneak around it. It might come in handy. <coughs> yes, I was right. Alright, there's a dead guy. Um... Had I let him, had I not killed him, he would have actually just killed himself. He would have, um, is that somebody else standing there? No, it is not. Okay, what he would have done is he would have walked over here and he would have flipped this lever. And this lever activates arrows that fire from, hell, I don't know where they fire from. Ah, these holes right here. He would pull this lever and arrows would come out of those and would have killed him anyways, but I wanted to kill him to get the uh, the experience or whatever you want to call it. I don't need any of this stuff. That's just, that doesn't weigh very much and it's worth a little bit. Let's go ahead and take it. Okay, so basically, in order to open that gate, we have to turn these things to match what's up there. And here we have a snake and a snake that fell from up there. And we have a whale, so the, the it's a it's a combination. So the combination is snake, snake, whale. We have to put that over here. So let's come over here. Snake, snake, and whale. Now I can flip the switch. And the gate will open with no arrows flying out at me. I'll tell you what. First time playing this game, I had no idea what I was doing right here. <laughs> Not a single clue. And we have some healing potions. We definitely need this. And I like to take books. Uh, I find a bookshelf somewhere and I put all of the books that I've read in the bookshelf. Looks nice whenever you have a bookshelf in your home that's filled with books. We'll take that and sell it later. I don't need that. I'll take that and sell it later. That's worth a little bit of money. Looks like we're headed that direction. There will be some skeevers down here. Um, I'm going to get out my mace. I'm going to waste arrows on a couple of skeevers. Keep my back to the wall. Let's see? Done there. Well, might have harmed them. I killed them. Let's get my bow back out. Let's do some sneaky, sneaky. I don't 
need any more linen wrap. I think I grabbed enough already. There's a scroll of fireball here that will help us later, or if I don't actually need it, I will sell it. Wait, wait, paralysis potion. That looks expensive. I don't think I've really ever used potions on enemies or anything like that. I just kill them the old fashioned way. Oh yeah, there's this guy up here, being guarded by this giant spider, I do believe. I don't know how the hell he can hear me. I thought I was doing a good job of sneaking. The skeleton got, ooh, some gold. See? I'm just gotta look around. Um, there we go. <laughs> got lost for a second there. I'm gonna chop this down. Now, in this room, there's a big ass spider. How many arrows do I have? I have 29 arrows. I can't get too close because this giant ass spider will come at me. And the way I deal with this spider is I wait for it to get closer here. I just kind of stay in this little area shoot it with several different arrows. It can't really hurt me. It doesn't regenerate its health very fast, so I can just poke over here, shoot an arrow at it. And look how easy this is to kill the spider. Oh! got me. That's okay, you helped to level up my armor. One more arrow should kill it. And that's how you do that. Okay, I don't need to sneak anymore. I will take your frostbite venom. Too bad I don't have the arrows. Whenever I don't, whenever I can't retrieve the arrows from a body or something, I just say they broke whenever they hit them. So, yeah, normally don't retrieve arrows from things like this because uh, I guess they do break your arrows. You over here. Okay, this guy. You did it. You killed it. Now cut down before we're gonna kill him because as soon as I cut him down, he is going to run. Ah, where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut you down and then I'm going to kill you. That's the only way this is going to work. Okay, so watch. I will cut you down. It's coming loose. I can feel it. And now you're dead. See, and then I can just take the claw from you. I will take your journal and the claw. Good. Now we're going to continue on down here. Get my bow back out. Some sneaky sneaky. Must be very, very quiet. Take like that. Nothing in here. Now this this is the fun part. We get to fight uh, a bunch of Draugr. Um I, I like to try to kill them before they even wake up. That's one of the advantages to sneaking through this place. It's because there's a Draugr asleep right there. And if I shoot this arrow, he will die before he even wakes up. See? No worries there. 
I don't know if this one will come to life or not. It's got some gold. Maybe. Okay, I've, I've woken somebody up. Apparently. One of the great things about sneaking. Oh, I let go of the mouse. Oh no. That means I woke somebody else up too. He's dead. They can't see very well. They have like really terrible vision. And they're also pretty dumb. And that should level me up. Yes. Leveling up. And once again we're gonna go to health, increase that. We're gonna go over to sneak. Make it harder to be detected. Are there any more of those guys? So this is the one that I killed first. Search him. He's got nothing. Search this guy. Uh, he's got some bone meal. That's good for some things. Hey, he's got my arrow. Thank you very much, Mr. Draugr Man. Don't want to step on the round thing. That will uh, force this gate to close. Won't be very good. There's a Draugr right there, he will come to life. Let's kill him before he does. Oh, Restless Draugr, he's a stronger one. Let's keep pumping him full of arrows. Take my arrow back. My soul gem's not worth anything. I don't remember how many of these guys wake up. He's dead. He's dead. Whoa! Let's get out the mace. There you go. Kinda scared me there for a second. Honestly. Get my bow back out. Why do they wake up whenever I come through here? They've been sleeping all these years and they're just now waking up. I've never understood Draugr's. I have an ancient Nord bow. Ancient Nord arrows. Backup arrows. That's what I call those. <laughs> Just in case I run out, right? Oh boy. We're just gonna have to... Is there a way to stop those, or do you just... Or do you just have to run through it? How do you run again? Alt key, okay. Hey, I timed that just perfect. Let's go ahead and turn that off. These things come in handy. See how dark it is? I like that. I really like that. We got a Draugr coming alive right here in front of us. Too bad for you. See what he had. Some bone meal. Bone meal comes in handy later. I can go ahead and kill this guy. He's gonna come to life. Let's 
Let's kill these jogger the cool way. Don't you love that? It really lights it up down here. See, I just killed two droggers with one arrow. Just gotta wait for it to burn down. He had nothing. Oh, wait. Now nothing. Am I on fire? Just have to wait for it. It'll eventually go out. Right? We have a fire and ice mod. I don't know how long this burns for. The fire and ice mod make it to where everything burns. If it can, if it's able to catch on fire, it will catch on fire. And it makes some really cool fire effects. I think it will eventually go out. Yeah, see, it's slowly burning down. There we go. Yeah, you want to be careful using fire spells with the fire and ice mod, because you will catch everything on fire. And I mean everything. Hey, look, another dogger. Like, you can st literally start a forest fire with that mod. It's actually quite fun. Take the arrow. This might be kind of a longer episode than I thought it was going to be. We're already at uh, like 20 minutes in. Uh, I usually try to keep my episodes about half an hour. It might be a little bit longer than what I normally upload. There'll be a few droggers in here. Just stay still. There we go. Maybe it's just that one. I don't know. Okay. Okay. And we have to open this gate right here by pulling this chain. I guess I don't have to be sneaking at the moment. Can I level up yet? I'm almost to level 4. Auto saving. Okay. And then you go up this way. I'm going to sneak through here, I think. And I can harvest these. be anything in here actually. Oh, this is that all? Oh, there we go. There's a chest. Just take all of this stuff. That looked all good. Okay. Now I can look over the edge of this waterfall, <coughs> and I will see down below on a pathway bridge. There's a dragger doing a patrol back and forth, and 
And that doorway leads that direction. And now that he has seen me, or heard me, he is going to be walking to come find me. And he might be coming up this tunnel right here in just a second. But as soon as I'm hidden, he might go back to his normal patrol. That's what it looks like to me. Very low on iron arrows. It's okay, we will get more. Yep, he went back to his little patrol. We're gonna shoot him I'm right here. Pretty good shot. He's quite a distance away. No idea how he heard me or saw me. I was way up there. Okay, and for this little part, uh, there's a little pathway down here. I can go this direction. And down here, there is something down here that's worthy to find. On the skeleton. I remember there being something down here that's... What is it that's down here? Hmm. Ah, there's a chest! That's right! Just gotta unlock the chest. Okay. Got some gold. We got a healing potion and another iron helmet. Do not want the iron helmet. I'm just gonna find a way back up here. So hard to see. Continue on the pathway. I like how every cave um, dungeon crawl that you do in Skyrim is just it leads you down one single direction and that's the only way you can go it's not really um, it's not really that hard to get lost there's only one way to go and that's the way you're gonna go and you just gotta keep going until you get to the end Skyrim is a very realistic Dungeons and Dragons Like Dungeons and Dragons. It's very fun to get together with your friends and play some D&D. &D. Or uh, Pathfinder, if you've ever played the Pathfinder version of D&D. &D. We got a Draugr right here. Let's get him. Restless Draugr. Well, he's still no match for me. Let's hit him with another arrow. And then real quick, switch to that shield up. Oh, he didn't run at me. There we go. That's how you do that. And I did that while being hidden the entire time. He barely even damaged me. Take the bone meal. Get my bow back out. Stand up here. Chest. Apprentice. Lock. Let's try this side. Nope. Let's try this side. Yeah, we got some give. There we go. So lock picking isn't that easy. I mean, isn't that hard? We'll take the poison. And we have leveled up. Let's do that. Uh, this time let's go for stamina. And I really want my arrows to do more damage than what they're doing. Let's do this. Boom. Arrows do 40% more damage. Let's I put the damage on the arrows up to. 
Well, I guess. Oh. I guess it doesn't really change the. It's like 8 plus 40 percent, so. Whatever that is. It's like. Almost 14 or 15, something like that. Bleak Falls Sanctum. Here we go. Okay. I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, I have to sneeze, it's not happening. There it is. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm sick. I might sound like I am, though. No? Here's the sneaky walk. Come down here, further down the dungeon. What was that? Seems like something up ahead has been activated. <laughs> so this isn't gonna be too awfully hard. Just gotta like doop. And then sneak again. Just gotta time it right. Go ahead and turn that off. This guy's awake. He doesn't see me though. How don't you see me? Oh, you're dead now. There's a guy up top there. He doesn't see me either. Just knock him down. I'm gonna knock one of these down as soon as the dogger comes into view. Oh, no, he's up there. He's going back to his little patrol. I'm gonna come in here. There's some things we're taking that... There you are. Okay, he's gonna go behind there. There's a noise behind you. Where did that come from? I did not actually need to do that. Let's watch him come down here and burn himself anyways. Just messing with this guy now. Let's not waste any more arrows. I only have five left. Okay. Easy enough. He has nothing. He had a great sword. No wonder he was able to actually hurt me a little bit there. Okay, there is like nothing really in this room. Wait, where'd this fire come from? I thought the fire went out. Okay. Now I shot some arrows up here. I thought I shot more than one. Hmm, I don't see it laying around anywhere. Oh well. Continuing on. Keep going. 
through the dungeon, dungeon crawl. Open this door. What is in here? Oh, yes. This is where the iron claw comes in handy. And if you've ever played Skyrim, you know all about the golden claws. But let's just say that you are new to Skyrim and you have not used the golden claws, or not golden claws. They're not always golden, they're different types. What you want to do is this door is a combination door and each claw goes to a certain door. Um, this is the golden claw door and you can look at the claw and see there are markings on it bear, moth, and owl. So that's what we have to do. We have to make the combination on the door itself bear, moth, and then owl. Just like the claw. And then you place the claw into the keyhole there in the center. Okay, so we go bear on the outside. Yep, there's the bear. And we change that to moth. We change this to owl. And if you get the combination wrong and you try to put the, the claw in it, arrows will shoot at you from various different places around here. So, beware. So we activate the keyhole. The claw goes in there. We get to keep the claw, which is good. Because we need that later. The door goes down. And we go through. Going to get my bow out. Going to come up to the edge here. And sneaky sneaky. As always. Sneaky sneaky. There's some bats. They won't hurt you. I don't think there's anything in here. I think it's just an empty tomb. Yep. Sneak around the outside. I actually want to cross this little bridge. There's only one Draugr that we have to fight in here. And he is the... The big main Draugr of Bleak Falls Barrow. And as soon as we come over here, my bow is not going to be any good to this guy. He will awaken once I do this. I'm going to come over here to this wall, look at it, and learn a word of power. And as soon as that's done. This guy is going to break out. And I can use a scroll of fireball on him. Which I have. Uh, all I'd have to do is come over here and... I have two of those. Let's put those in the favorites menu. As soon as I get right about here... Let's just go ahead and hit him with that scroll. That'll kill him pretty easily. Brings his. <laughs> Boom! That's how you kill that guy. Man, that was so easy. We get the dragon stone from him, and we take his great sword. Oh yeah, and we burn everything in the process. Down here, we can take this frenzy potion. Uh, it's nothing. We got some more linen wrap. Don't eat it. In the chest, we have a whole bunch of goodies, just like we always do at the end of um, quests. Cool. So now we have stuff that we can go back and sell. Get a lot of money. Uh, and that's the way we leave. We go out this direction. Jump over everything here.
now we may leave Bleak Falls Barrow. Activate the handle. Opens up the wall here. Oh yeah, there's some more goodies. In the chest. We have amethyst, gold, ironing it. We need all that. Okay. There's nothing really valuable up here unless you want to eat the flowers. <laughs> totally, yeah, you can totally eat the flowers too. I mean, I'm not even joking. Okay. And that is Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, thank you guys for watching very much. Let's try that again. Take two. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, hope you come back for the next episode. We'll be continuing on. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and have a great day.